Hi kids! How are you doing today? Welcome to another video full of learning! I am your teacher, Teacher Dines, and today we will study about this. Recognizing whether a material is useful or harmful helps us decide whether it is reusable or should already be disposed of. Knowing which materials are harmful help us to be more careful when disposing them. Some materials are useful and some materials are harmful. To make life easier, we have to identify useful and harmful materials in our community. Materials are matters from which a thing is or can be made or composed of. They have qualities or potentials which give them purposes and by which they can be categorized. Usually, materials are the equipment or tools necessary for certain activity. Jeepney is very useful in transportation. But on what instance, Jeepney becomes harmful in the community? Hmm. Kids, this is very sad. Jeepney emits harmful gases that cause pollution in our atmosphere. Can you help me tell? when a material becomes useful and when they become harmful in the community. Great! Let's do this now! Study the given material. Tell how we can properly use this and discuss what makes this potentially harmful in the community. Number 1. Knife That's great! We use knife in cutting foods. However, knife can also cause wound and cut to us. So remember, always be careful in using knife and ask the guidance of your guardian or parents while using knife. Number two, old rubber tire. Great, old rubber tire can be used as pat in our garden. However, it might collect water where mosquito larvae lives. So remember, we have to dispose of the rubber tire properly. And last one, dried leaves. Great, we can use them as soil fertilizer. However, they might build up and clog water drainages. So we have to keep our environment clean from dried leaves. Good job! So now, we will be discussing the useful and harmful materials in the community. Useful materials are materials or things that can be used anytime, anywhere, and are hassle-free or not harmful to human beings. Also, we have to take note that if a useful material is not used properly, it can turn into harmful material. Harmful materials are the ones that we don't need to use daily. We only use them on a given circumstances. A harmful substance is one that may cause substantial personal injury or illness during reasonable handling or use, including possible ingestion by children. Household products are harmful if they contain substances that have one or more of the following hazardous properties. Corrosive, irritant, strong sensitizer, flammable, and toxic. There are three ways how materials may harm our body. Number one is by ingestion. 
it means eating or drinking hazardous substances or contaminated foods and water and absorbing these substances through your gastrointestinal tract. Second one is by inhalation. It means by breathing in gases, vapors, and sprays that are absorbed through the lungs and enter the bloodstream. And the last one is by thermal, skin or eye contact. Hazardous substances contact the skin or thermal or enter the eye causing injuries. That's why we always have to be careful in using materials. Remember, useful materials are materials or things that can be used anytime, anywhere, and are hassle-free or not harmful to human beings. Harmful materials are things that should be stored carefully and must be kept out of reach of children. We must take note that if a useful material is not used properly, it can turn to harmful material. Good job! I hope you learned a lot from this video. Again, keeping our environment clean and beautiful is our responsibility. Let us all practice proper waste management. Thank you for watching. See you to our next video. Bye-bye.